Hello, Kababayan. Welcome to my welcome to my YouTube channel. In Tagalog, tayo magbabalik sa aking channel. Ah, Kababayan, I just want to make it clear bakit nung isang video ko ay puro English. Dahil request ng aking mga kasama sa trabaho na mechanical at electrician na i-explain ko ng English para matutunan din nila. So, sabi ko sa kanila, hindi ako marunong mag-English, hindi ako professor. It's okay, at least we understand. Sabi nila, kasi silang nag-request na turuan ko sila ng paano ng motor control. That's why I speak in English. Kasi kung mag-English ako, baka isipin nyo, I'm trying hard to speak English na ako ay, hindi naman ako ang accent ko. Hindi naman ako magaling mag-English ang accent ko. Hindi naman tama. Pronunciation ko, hindi naman maganda. Kasi hindi ako professional magaling mag-English. Dahil uh, kung professional ako, sa Pilipinas pa lang, hindi na ako ng Canada. Doon na ako sa Pilipinas nagturo ng English. Kung gusto nyo matuto na mag-English, punta kayo kay Aubrey. Teacher Aubrey, magaling mag-English yan. Kasi nung no, tuturo ang profesor namin, nung high school kami, wala kami ginawa. Kung nag-relecture ang teacher, nag a kami. Alam niyo yung adding? Yung sa ending ng pera, kung May 1964, 1975, yung huling dalawa nung huling numero pag a addition yun, magsusugal kami. Ayun, mali yun. Kaya huwag nyo na kami tularan, mga bata dyan. Tularan. Okay. Start na tayo sa aking... Um, tutorial. Itong nagawa ko ng last video. Oh, English. English, sorry. <laughs> English, English, my friend. Our uh, lesson today is we're gonna install this control and we're gonna wire, we're gonna make this connection there. But this, today, this installation now, motor installation is more faster and easy than to my tutorial part one. More faster. You will not get bored now. Because because why? Because all this, this is a breaker, breaker. It's a indicator light. Indicator light for uh, motor on and indicator light for overload is now. I, I installed here. And now faster because uh, this neutral here I use white wire I connected already to the I connected already to the control so now faster this you see that 95 96 I connect to A2 neutral here I connect already to light and here to normally close because this is one here I jump already over there I jump already so more faster now and this breaker now, because uh, power here, just number one wire, I number already and I connect to indicator light on and I selector switch, I connect already here. So we gonna connect this one here, float switch and uh, selector manual going to the A1 and uh, return for the float switch going to the Number to go into the normally open contactor, auxiliary contact normally open. So now it's not take time, not same my uh, first video tutorial. So we will gonna start now to wire this this control now. Okay, so we gonna start now here. So you can see here, I will show you more faster here. So this number one here, this uh, breaker here, this is uh, this is 220 volts. This red and black is 220 volts and this 110 volts here, hot wire. I connect here because this is, this is a neutral. So 220 volt red and black. So this one here, this is neutral. So I use this 110 volt to the our control here, to our control wiring. So this black and red, red and black is our supply here. We're gonna use this to control the 
our motor pump example motor pump single phase because we don't have three phase supply in the apartment so okay and this I turn off the breaker because see that one is a power live here so I turn off and this um, wire here I told you here I connect already so more faster see that one here I connect here to the selector switch jumper because this is um, bolt normally open contact when you turn this side when you turn on the selector side here is a manual mode when you turn on left here this automatic control by float switch in the middle is we put in the middle the selector is off i put jumper i'm going to power on indicating light and overload indicator light so i connect already so now it's more faster and this is auxiliary contact here just connect the new one here okay we're gonna continue wiring now and you will see so that it can work so it will not take too long for wiring okay just watch we're gonna start wiring now. okay so what we do now here we will uh, this one fit A1 this jumper here so this float switch we're gonna install to automatic okay this number four uh, float switch we will connect to automatic selector switch here I will show you after for double check and then this return for float switch instead we got we can connect here in a1 no problem but because two wire already is there i connect this wire already connected there more easy to install this one here to connect in auxiliary contact so two wire more easy i'll connect here okay i'll connect here together And then we're gonna double check. Okay, finish. So almost done. One more thing. Okay. One last. This normally open here. This normally open. Here. I will install to the power on light. That's it here. This here. Okay.
Ya. Yes. Finito. Okay. We will double check before we're gonna turn on the power so that it will not blow. Okay. So, this one. Number one wire connected here. So, number one here, we double check. Connected to the switch. Normally open here. And that one. Select to assist manual auto. Jumper to power on and overload. Good. The output of this one here. For the normally close here. Oh, good. 98, 97, 98. Connection is good. All this one is good like that one there. Okay, and then uh, neutral over here. Okay, neutral this two connected to here. Good, and that one here. Okay, everything's fine now. So we're gonna wire up. We're gonna nice make it nice. This breaker here, we're gonna put this wire, make it nice. So that our control is look nice. Put inside. Put inside all of them. Now English are my friend, huh? I hope you understand. Huh? Okay. Beautiful. That's it. And we're gonna put cover. Okay. This, we need this wrap so that the in the cabinet it will not break the wire. It will not damage when you close the cabinet. So we need this wire. Just only, uh, only one second. Don't get bored. So that when you install the control wiring, it looks nice and better. Your boss will be happy to you. Your supervisor happy when you install the wiring connection. It's a good job. Maybe you got increased salary. Like me. <laughs> okay. Okay. My boss before give me increase when I installed the phone. See now? It's look beautiful. Nice, beautiful. See? Look professional, huh? Yeah, when you close the door, it won't damage the wire. Now we're gonna close it. This one I just hook up here because this only for example. Okay, okay. All right? There we go. We're gonna testing now, my friend. What's an observe? English now, huh, my friend, huh? I hope you understand now. I move a little bit here, my camera, because clo close to my face, too close. Do good. I'm more ugly. Okay. We're gonna put power on first. When you turn on the power, you know that breaker here, the power lights on, right? So, we turn on the power here. Okay, turn on, control circuit. It's on. Try. Contactor is run. It's on. See? Energize. 
Swing automatic. Power energized. But the motor doesn't run. You know why? Because our breaker here, no power yet. Okay? So, turn off first. Turn on the breaker for the motor pump. Now, turn on. We start in manual mode. For in manual, contactor is on. Our pump, mini pump, say motor pump, small running. They say motor pump, it's small, huh? It's not motor pump. Okay, now when you wanna, the motor is stuck, the pump is seized because 24 hours running, the bearing is stuck or something else, the overload current, this motor will be trip. The tripping coil is open. So the open is de-energized. Mm. Now de-energized. So motor is stopped, the pump is stopped. So now, when you reset the tripping coil, when you check the motor, no good, change the motor, but before you change, before you change, make sure turn off the power. When you change the pump, put lock out, loto. They call loto, lock out, and tag out. It's very safe, important. Turn off the power, turn off the breaker, disconnect the pump, replace the new pump. Okay, now you wanna reset, when you, after you install the pump, everything brand new one, reset the breaker over. Now, motor is on, running, smooth, beautiful. Okay, and next, we are gonna turn to automatic mode, my friend. Oh. Turn off, put in auto, when you put in auto, our pump will be stopped and it won't run, run because now gonna be stopped, few minutes, come on, come on, okay. This float switch, when low level, the water is low level, will be the motor is not running, the contactor is the energized. When the water is, when the water is full, going up, this float sheet going to high level, slowly, slowly, and then when full, this energize. That's why I told you is this controlled by float sheet. See, our motor pump is running. Then, after stop, the contactor is off, the energized, and our pump is, will be stopped. You see that one now? Okay. I hope you learn something today and you will not get bored to my video tutorial now because more faster. Now my friend English, huh? Will be, I hope you learn my friend English now, huh? <laughs> okay, so I hope you understand. I hope you understand my explanation now and my tutorial. If you learn something, my video tutorial, please don't forget to like and subscribe, my friend. And have a great day. Have a great day, my friend.